Good morning, adventurers. Today we're in Dublin, Ireland, and we're gonna try some traditional foods like gur cake, crew beans, and coddle. Don't know what that is? Us either. Let's go find out. First dish we're trying is called crew beans, which is boiled uh, pig's feet. Am I right? Yeah. And then it's usually fried, which the ones we have here are fried, and they're a lot smaller than I thought they would be. Yeah. Because in some of the pictures you could actually see like the whole foot, but I guess this is just like a part of it, maybe. Yeah, I think this is the like the you see it boiled in the pictures, but I think this is what it looks like after it's fried. I think yeah. they mix it all together. I'm pretty excited to try this. Yes, yeah, look awesome. Yeah, man. That good? Yeah. It's nothing like what I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it just kind of tastes like, I mean, you can taste that it's pork for sure. It's nice, like fried pulled pork. It's really good. Check it out, you guys. It does kind of look like pulled pork in there. It's all like stringy. Yeah. Okay. This one's really good. The um, breading is a little sweet almost. Yeah. And it really complements the saltiness of the, the pig's feet. <laughs> There's a lot of flavor going on yeah. in there. Yeah, and awesome. it came with, um, I think it's like sauerkraut or cabbage and some other sweet stuff, which I think is a perfect accompaniment for it. These apples that come with it are absolutely delicious. They're super sweet. And if you mix all this stuff together, it just works perfectly. Perfect. Who knew pig's feet were so delicious? So quick disclaimer, uh, most of these are all of the dishes that we're trying today that came recommended by the locals that we've been chatting with. But if there are some dishes that we missed or dishes that you'd like us to try next time we are here or that you'd like to recommend to other people who are watching this video, leave us a comment below and tell us about it. Next up, we're gonna try gur cake, which is a pastry that is traditionally associated with Dublin. I think it's called Chester cake in other areas. Either way, it looks really yummy, so let's go try it out. So a little bit of bad news. We went to a bakery called Manning's, which we'll link in the description below, but they didn't actually have gur cake. It turns out that they only have it some days and you can never really know when they're gonna have it, so they didn't happen to have it today, which was sad. But we talked to the lady that owned the place and she kind of mentioned that gur cake is so traditional that it's really hard to find, so she couldn't really recommend any other places. But we've come to a place called uh, Queen of Tarts. Yeah. Queen of Tarts, right? So instead, we're just gonna find something we're probably just gonna have them recommend something that might be a little bit traditional for us to try. So, wah wah, didn't really work out, but that's all right. So we might not have gotten the gur cake, but we asked them to recommend something that was somewhat traditional, and they said the Bailey's cheesecake. So, don't know if it really is, but it sounds great. Works for me. Yeah. Delightful. <laughs> that is sweet and amazing. Oh yeah. That's a delight. <laughs> That's really good. Guys, I typically love cheesecake anyway. It's like my favorite dessert, so it's pretty obvious that I'm gonna like something like this, but it's really good. Matt's actually tagging along with us today. He got like a blackberry apple crumble. Is that what yeah. it was? It's like a... It's kind of like something that my grandma would have made back in the day. It's pretty good. It's unbelievable. It's like, awesome. it's like warm and flaky and just perfect. Allison isn't crazy about this cheesecake, but it is a pure delight it's to me. It's just it is so sweet. good. <laughs> it's really, really sweet, but I don't mind. It's really good. So that ended up being a pretty delicious mistake. But now it's dinner time, so we're gonna go get our stew on. You guys, we're gonna 
try so many delicious dishes at this next place. It's gonna be good. like a pork stew, the Irish lamb, and the beef and gillis stew. Okay. Awesome. And then soda bread, beer bread, and... Sorry, Guinness bread, beer bread. Okay. okay. Thank you. So the food has arrived. We also got a couple of uh, beers from a local brewery. This nice. always makes the meal nicer. Yes. So, what we have here is a stew sampler. So this is actually called coddle. And this one's Irish stew, which are the two dishes that we were looking for. And then an extra bonus is this Guinness stew, because I don't know if this is quite as traditional. Um, and then a sampling of bread. Okay, I'm starting with the coddle, and I think this is a big hunk of sausage. Here we go. That's super interesting. What? Is it? It's like, um, it must have flour in there. I think it's like kind of, well, dumplings. Like dumplings. But yeah, dumpling consistency. I think it's got ham and sausage and potatoes in there. Oh man. This here is the Guinness stew that we're eating now. And uh, it's pretty freaking good. It's super Ooh. thick and dark. It's like really a real rich. thick stew. Mm -hmm. It's very good. And this one's kind of more of a lighter stew. What was this one called again? This one's the Irish stew. Irish so it's stew. just the meat, potatoes, and carrots. And it's a little bit of a lighter flavor, but it's still super awesome. So I keep referring to this stuff as ham because I'm from the U.S., but here I think it's definitely called bacon, or I think it's this particular cut is a rasher. Um, but it's delicious either way. And this here that I got is called a boxty, and boxty is actually just this, which is like a potato pancake. And they've got a bunch of good stuff in here, chicken and all kinds of stuff. It's a bit like a really nice um, like chicken pot pie or something. But like a really nice one, not like the store-bought kind. It has the consistency of a crepe, but tastes like a potato. Yeah, potato crepe. Potato crepe. Do you have a favorite stew? Yes. The coddle is my favorite. Actually followed by the Guinness. Yeah, and the Guinness is probably my favorite. Irish it was I mean, awesome. Yeah. Let's be honest, guys. They're all freaking... Amazing. Amazing. It's a delight just like dipping in one after another. It's really good. We completely demolished everything. Mm -hmm. And now we're very full. Good. <laughs> Take these all away, please. <laughs> As always, I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along with us today on our little food tour here in Ireland. Uh, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you hit the like button below to let us know. Leave us a comment, let us know what you thought, and also make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you never miss a video. Yeah, and as always, we'll make sure to link below to everything we ate today and all the places we went so that you can eat there too. And I think there's a Guinness calling our name somewhere, so we're going to end it here, guys. Good night, adventurers. We'll see you on the road.